One of the best things about AI is that it now lets you create apps without even knowing how to code. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and this is the era of vibe coding, wherein if you know exactly what app you want to build, if you can describe it in plain English and you can write it down to tools like Replit and people from around the world can actually use it and you can start a real business with it. Replit is a coding agent which understands the app you want to build, creates a plan for the app it wants to build for you and then goes out and builds the exact exact app and so Replit acts as a real-time CTO which can take all of your commands, turn it from English to real code and apps and websites. Now they recently rolled out Replit Agent 3 which is their state-of-the-art coding agent and we saw how effectively it can help you build apps in minutes. In this video, I'll show you how to use Replit and take advantage of an amazing update that they've rolled out called Connectors. Think of Connectors as first-party integrations that they have done with apps and services that you love to use every single day. Meaning, you can now easily sign in to that app and service and directly integrate it with your Replit account once. And then you can use it for any app that you want to build later. Without the need to create separate APIs, without the need to create separate cloud accounts, you can all manage it with the help of Replit connectors. So make sure that you hit the like button and let's have a look at Replit coding agent. So this right here is Replit. Here is the window where you can describe exactly what you want to build and then it will go ahead and build that app for you automatically. Now, one interesting thing I want to show you is integrations. If you go down over here, you'll see this new thing called connectors. These are first party integrations that Replit supports. If you look over here, they have all of these apps that you've already heard about. Things like Gmail, like Dropbox, GitHub, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Sheet, Notion, there is Spotify, there is also YouTube. Meaning, let's say I want to build a simple app that can log in the latest video reports of my YouTube videos. So for example, I wanted to have a dashboard where it captures the views, the likes, the shares, the subscribes, and all of that information. Previously, I would have to actually go to YouTube and get its API and then connect it with this app for it to actually function. But Connectors enables me to get rid of all of that hassle and simply log into my YouTube account and then it works like magic. Whenever I'm building an app which involves YouTube, I can simply just say use the Replit connector with YouTube and build out this service for me and it will work on itself. It will figure out the connectors that it has. Let's say you want to sign into your Notion account. You can simply click on sign in over here and then you can continue to Notion and if you can quickly log into your Notion account and give it access to all of these permissions, select pages, I will keep it private, select all, and we can go ahead and allow access. And now, Replit would have a connection built with Notion. And so I can now build any app which can create a Notion page on my Notion account itself. What you can also do is you can go into the manage section. For example, I've connected Gmail and you can see all the connection scopes that it already has. You can also send emails on my behalf. So it can do all of these things. And you know what I built with it? It's called Mail Merge Genie. So let's have a look at an amazing app I built with the help of Replit connectors, especially for the Gmail connection. So I quickly logged into my Gmail app and I asked it to make a Gmail Mail Merge tool. I will upload a CSV file with name, email, company, job role. The app should write one email template with placeholders like name, company, and custom line. For each person, use AI to generate custom line based on their company and job role. Show me a preview of all the personalized emails. Let me choose send now or send as draft in Gmail. Send slowly to avoid spam 10 to 15 emails per hour between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Add my Gmail signature automatically and keep a simple log of what was sent. This is what my prompt looked like. Now, it created this entire cold outreach app by connecting to my Gmail account. And then this is the interface that I can see right here. So if you look at this, I can simply go here, create a campaign, and I can upload a CSV file, which will contain all the people that I want to reach out to. And let's say this is the list of people that I want to reach out to. So I can simply just go to file, and I can download it as a .csv file. And then I can simply choose the file, select it, and now I have uploaded 12 contacts that I want to reach out to. 
The next step is to work on the template. So I can click continue to template and I can mention exactly what email I want to send. So I can say hi name. I wanted to reach out to set up a meeting to discuss how I can help you upskill in the field of AI. See, this was all built with Replit. I didn't have to, you know, tell it how to write it. It figured out all the things itself and it just built it out for me. And then I can simply just click on continue to preview. And this is what all of the emails would look like. As you can see right here, I can select each of these and then I can click on continue to send. And by doing so, it will send out all of those emails. Like look at this and it will now become my cold outreach app that I just built all with the help of Replit and connecting it to my Gmail. If you will look here, it automatically searched for Replit integrations for Gmail. And it says, says perfect, I found integrations for both Gmail and OpenAI. Now I will create a comprehensive plan for Gmail mail merge tool with AI personalization. And then it built it out for me. And this is what the app looks like. Now I want to build an app which can detect any song that I'm liking on Spotify and then automatically add that song information in a Notion page for me without me having to lift a finger. For that, I need two connectors. One is with Notion, which we've already done over here. And the other one is with Spotify. So I can go to Spotify and I can click on sign in and I can continue to Spotify. I can give it all the permissions. And this is the best part about Replit. I can just communicate in plain English, create a small app that logs every new song I like on Spotify into a Notion database. For each liked song, save the title, artist, album, and the date I liked it. Show me a simple web page with my last 20 logged songs. And I can quickly create a app for that. You can also make an agent for it if you want to do that. So we can click on agent and then set up a agent which simply does it on its own. The trigger is any new song that I have liked or I can simply build a web app right here. So I'll click on start chat and this will now start creating a plan for how to execute this app. And this is what the plan would look like when it is building this app from scratch. I will click on build the entire app and I'll click on start building and it will quickly get to work creating the front end, making sure that all the connections work fine and let's see what it comes up with. All right, and this is the app that it has built. As you can see, Spotify to Notion. It is a Spotify song logger. Connected to Spotify, Notion is the database. Recently like songs, no songs yet. So now I can actually go on my Spotify and I can just start liking some songs or the other and keep adding all the songs that I like right here. And if I were to go back to my app, I can click on sync now and it came up with a list of all of them. And now it's going to save all of this into my Notion database and does it all automatically. As you can see, AutoSync is enabled. And if I like this app, I can go ahead and click on publish and I can have a ready-made app like this that I can share with anyone that I want. Again, this could have also been an agent. So just having a backend and it could work flawlessly like that as well. And that is the power of Replit connectors. In this video, we looked at how you can build any app that you want with Replit by simply describing it in plain English. We then also looked at how you can create Replit connections with all the apps that it provides, and then you can access them wherever you want to in building any app that you want, from YouTube to Google Calendar, to Google Docs, to Gmail, to Spotify, to Notion, to a lot of other apps as well. That is all from me today. Let me know in the comments what app do you want to build from scratch using Replit and I will see you all in the next video. If you have any questions, let me know below. You can try out Replit with the link in the description. I'll see you all in the next one.